do I get the right hand side? So, pressing right, left hand side is equal to 1 over cos theta minus tan theta, and all this is squared. Alright? Now, my suggestion is uh, convert the tan to sine over cos. That's the first thing. So, we end up with 1 over cos theta minus sine theta over cosine of theta, right? And all this is squared, right? Then, now here, it will be the same as writing this as 1 over cos theta minus sine theta over cos theta. Remember I told you when I was talking about proof proofs of identity that your knowledge of algebra is required. Then we have to multiply the two binomials. Okay, so I'm sure you can see that both of them have got common denominator, which is uh, cos theta. Therefore, I can write my next step as one minus sine theta over cos theta times 1 minus sine theta over cos theta. Now, the numerator, as you can see, it's 1 minus sine theta, so the numerator is the same, which means if I go to the next page, I can write my numerator as 1 minus sine theta. Okay. I can write my numerator as 1 times sine theta over capsule times 1 minus sine theta. There's no need to simplify it as yet because my right hand side has got, I'm sure you can see that the right hand side here has got 1 minus sine theta. So it's not a good idea to rush to remove the brackets there. Then, if I multiply this cos theta and that cos theta, I will get, I will get cos squared theta. So I will end up having cos squared theta. Then, I know that from the fundamental identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to 1, that cos squared theta is equivalent to 1 minus sine squared theta. And this is actually a difference of two squares. Okay? So I can write my next step as 1 minus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta all over 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay? Then I have to factorize the denominator. It's a difference of two squares, so I'll get 1 minus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta. This is all over 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. Right? Then, this 1 minus sine theta and that one there, they will cancel out. So I'll be left with uh, 1 minus sine theta over 1 plus 
sine theta. And then I can say, therefore, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Alright, so it's application of algebra and also in terms of factorization. Your knowledge of factorization of trinomials, especially the perfect square trinomial, the difference of two squares is required when you are doing trigonometry. Alright, any question? Then, but where's what? Any question? Are you all seeing my screen? Shaven, can you talk, please? And Dianga, can you put off your uh, question? You must have done. Question 1a, which we did two days ago. So, what this question is saying here is that we prove this that sine theta plus cos theta squared is equal to 1 plus 2 sine theta times cos theta. So, we are going to use that result. Okay? So, my suggestion is simplify the left hand side. So, the left hand side is 1 plus 2 sine theta times cos theta over sine theta plus cos theta. And this will be equal to, well, when there is 1 plus 2 sine theta cos theta, we replace that by sine theta plus cos theta all squared. Alright? So this is all over sine theta plus cos theta. What that means is that this denominator cancels with one of these two. And then the final answer will be sine theta plus cos theta. Therefore, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So that's what you were supposed to have done there. 